Hola amigos, que tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks. Today coming to you from Las Vegas. And no, I'm not in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm in Las Vegas, Spain. This part of Madrid is known as Las Vegas. It is a farming uh, type area here in the Madrid province. And you can see behind me that I have one of the typical small towns in the area. And today I'm gonna to talk about some of the pros and cons of moving to this country in 2020. So uh, let's go. Now the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the quality of life. And Spain is a country that offers great quality of life. It is a country where you can live very, very well. But there are some circumstances that will determine how well you live in this country. And I'll go through some of those things as well. Now I'm about 40 kilometers southeast of Madrid. I'm in a small town, two and a half thousand people. You can have a look around here now. This is the typical small town in this area. And uh, it's a place that lives mainly from agriculture. And a lot of people that live here would also work in Madrid. As I said, about a 40 kilometer ride into Madrid every day. But uh, as you can see, not a lot of people on the streets are today, it being Friday, and it is a really quiet place. And this is a place where you could live really, really well in Spain. Now there are various reasons why quality of life in Spain is quite high. One of them, of course, is the weather. And another one is the way of life that the Spanish people have. People in Spain are reasonably friendly. I'll say reasonably because you can always find people that are not the most friendly, but in general, people here are fairly good. They have a live and let live mentality and they're not in your face. And that is a definite pro about living in this country. Of course, you can come across people that aren't so friendly, but that's the same anywhere. But I would say that here in general, people are relatively friendly and they're gonna let you live your life. And they're not gonna to try to pressure you into doing anything that you don't wanna do, which is a pro. Now, although the people aspect is a pro in the sense that they let you do what you wanna do and they're not in your face, it can also be a bit of a con as well because people can be noisy in this country and they can be a little bit dirty at times and they can lack a bit of respect for the environment. You will see that some places can be quite dirty because a lot of people like to just chuck rubbish on the ground. But I don't think that that outweighs the pros. Now, when I say that they can be noisy, uh, especially when they are out celebrating, people can be noisy in this country. So if you don't like loud noise, that could be a bit of a, a con. Uh, and also when they're celebrating the local fiestas, if you're not into the local fiestas, you might also find that people can be a bit loud, a bit noisy, and a bit dirty at that time of year. So that could be a con, but it depends how you look at it. Now, another pro about Spain is the cost of living. And this is important if you're coming here as a retiree, or you're coming here with a salary from outside the country. The cost of living in Spain is relatively low. However, there are some things that have been increasing over the years, especially when it comes to rents, getting houses and things like that. It has been increasing over the last few years and it can be a bit difficult to find a good rent in a big city like Madrid or Barcelona. But the cost of living also has a downside and that means that salaries are low. So if you're gonna be working in Spain, be prepared for a generally low salary compared to other countries. But as I said, general cost of living is not that expensive and you can live well on a relatively low salary. So the things that you are going to find cheaper in Spain are general going out costs. They're a lot cheaper than in other countries in Europe. Also, if you compare it to Australia, it's a lot cheaper to go out, have a meal at a restaurant, have a drink in a bar, etc. And general supermarket costs here are also quite good. But as I said, that salary aspect could affect you. So I always recommend that if you can have a salary from outside of Spain, if you are planning to come and live here, don't depend on the local economy because I'll talk about that in a minute, but it can be a bit of a con. Now, another pro about living in Spain is that it is a very safe country. If you compare it to the majority of countries around the world, Spain is very, very safe. Uh, street crime can be a problem in some of the big cities, of course, Madrid, Barcelona, Seville, you can become the victim of street crime, but in general, crime is uh, fairly low. You can walk the streets safely. Maybe you'll get your house robbed. Uh, house crime can be a bit of a problem in some areas, but that safety aspect that you have when you're in the street, 
walking around. I tend to feel safe all the time. So in that regard, Spain is a safe country and definitely a pro. Now, another pro in my opinion about this country is the way that young people are treated. Young people, kids especially, are treated very, very well here. They are really made to feel part of the society and also the way older or elderly people are treated as well. Elderly people have a great lifestyle in uh, this country. You can see this man sitting behind me on the bench, just chilling out here on a Friday uh, midday, and uh, old people tend to have a very good quality of life here because the health system's good, they get their pension, and if, they, if they're able to live within their means, they can have a great life. So kids and old people are pro about the country. Now another pro about Spain is the food and drink culture that they have here. Spain is a foodie's paradise and if you like to eat and drink like I do, uh, you won't be disappointed with this country. You can find a great variety of different types of foods, different types of uh, regional cuisines in this country. Whether you're in the east, the west, the north, the south, you can get great quality food. And of course, it's the Mediterranean diet, which is one of the best diets in the world. And I had somebody write me a comment a few months ago saying that he came to Spain and he actually lost weight because they were eating very well and also they were doing lots of exercise because walking around these cities, sightseeing, taking all of the different things, you can keep really healthy. And that Mediterranean diet, which is based on fruits and vegetables and not a lot of meat, is one of the better diets in the world, in my opinion. And another thing which is fantastic about this country is the bar culture. The bar culture is second to none. If you want to go out and have a quiet drink, a relaxed drink, meet some friends, uh, have something to eat in a relaxed atmosphere. Spain is absolutely fantastic and there's no violence associated with alcohol, which is a big pro in my opinion, especially compared to some of the other countries in Europe, especially the English speaking countries where people can get a bit violent after a few drinks. But here, it doesn't normally happen. Now, one of the pros for a lot of people coming to Spain is going to be the weather. Spain is a country that in most areas offers fantastic weather. The north of Spain is probably the place where the weather is not so great. If you're talking about Galicia, Asturias, the Basque country, the weather is not the best. But from the middle of the country down, the weather is generally pretty good. Of course, in the Mediterranean areas, the weather is fantastic. And the Canary Islands offers some of the best weather conditions in the world, if you like that type of thing. In a city like Madrid, you're going to get extreme uh, weather. You're going to get hot uh, summers, cold winters, but the sun does shine. So even in the middle of winter, you do get sunny days. Today is a bit of an exception. It's not raining. It's quite mild, but uh, normally the sun shines. And if you come from the UK, if you come from a country like Germany, the north of France, or anywhere in Europe, basically, uh, sun can be a bit of a problem at this time of the year. But here in Spain, you are going to get sun. So that is a definite pro. But the con would be, as I said, the extremes. If you're living in a place like Madrid, uh, summers are hot. And uh, if you don't like that type of weather, it could be a bit of a problem for you. And especially if you're living in a place like Seville, Cordoba, the uh, extreme temperatures there in summer could be a bit of a put off. So keep that in mind. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the language aspect of coming to live in a country like Spain. Now, uh, learning the language can be a con uh, if you're not willing to do something like that. It is a challenge and it is not easy, but uh, it becomes a definite pro when you're able to learn the language and communicate here in Spain in Spanish you can open a lot of doors. It's uh, one of the things that I consider necessary to integrate into this country because if you don't learn the language, you'll end up probably in an English speaking ghetto or a uh, some type of ghetto where people only speak your language and you won't be able to fully enjoy what this country has to offer. And the thing is that when you do learn a new language or when you're in the process of learning a new language, everything is new. You're learning new words, there's new experiences, you're always on your toes, you walk into places with a little bit of anxiety because you want yourself to be understood. And I see that as an absolute pro. Learning a language is something that stimulates the mind. Uh, so you don't have to do Sudoku or crosswords. Learn that language and that will really help you adapt to life in this country. And uh, when you do speak a language like Spanish, 
you open the door to a lot of countries around the world that speak the same language. Look at South America, look at Central America, and look at the lower half of the USA. With Spanish in your back pocket, you can go a long way. So I definitely recommend that as a pro to learn the language and get to know the Spanish people by being able to communicate with them. And again, if you don't like doing it, it's gonna be a con. And if you don't learn the language, you'll always have that hurdle that you'll need to get over when it comes to getting things done in this country. Now, some of the cons. The main con about this country is, in my opinion, the economy. The economy goes up and the economy goes down. But when it goes down, it is a serious problem for a lot of people in this country. Unemployment is a problem. It peaked a few years ago at 25%. Youth unemployment was up around the 50% mark, and now it's come down a bit, but there is still a bit of a debate about unemployment. Politicians are not able to fix the problem, and uh, it is a problem. So if you're gonna to come to this country and work, keep it in mind always that unemployment rates are a problem, and you could lose your job. Job security is also a problem nowadays. Young people can't get good contracts. They can't get good salaries and it does affect the way people go about their day to day. There does seem to be, in my opinion, too much emphasis on the elderly in this country. Uh, the elderly are always looking to get their pensions increased and they're always looking to increase their way of life and uh, that comes at a cost and the cost is youth. If you've been to London or if you've been to Australia recently, you'll know that there are lots and lots of young Spanish people there looking for opportunity because they can't get it here and it is a problem that this country has and it is a definite con there's no doubt about it so keep that in mind if you are coming here to live on a pension or if you are retired and you are self-funded it's not going to be an issue but if you are coming here to get into this labor market keep it in mind that it is a definite con another con of this country is red tape bureaucracy is a nightmare I have literally spent days of my life standing in queues trying to get things done, whether it be getting a residency permit, whether it be getting a driver's license, whether it be getting basic things that you need to deal with the public service done. And it is a definite con. I've never been able to work out how in a country with so many civil servants, this particular aspect works so bad. I'm optimistic, however, that in the future, technology will be able to fix this problem but uh, it's a long time coming. So keep that in mind that one of the definite cons of this country is the red tape. If you need to get anything done, you need to leave at least half a day because it is a difficult and often painful experience. Now, another con which is also related in a way to bureaucracy is uh, timetables here in Spain. A lot of these public organizations close at around three o'clock and you can't get a lot of things done after that. Uh, it might be changing in some areas, I'm not sure, but uh, traditionally after three o'clock can't get a lot of public things done. In the uh, private sector, it's completely different. People work long hours in, in offices and that is also a bit of a problem when it comes to timetable and the lunchtime here in Spain is also very, very late. And Spain is a country where people like to get things done in the afternoon, so you're always going to see lots of activity in the afternoon and it means that uh, in the morning things can be a little bit slow. So that can be a bit of a con about living in this country. Now, one of Spain's main pros is the healthcare system. The healthcare system is very, very good. Both public and private healthcare in this country is at a very high standard. So that is a definite pro of living in this country. And you can see behind me that we have a lot of elderly people coming this way, and they uh, definitely take advantage of that Spanish healthcare system which is reasonably cheap and, as I said, quite high quality. Now, another pro about living in Spain is the cultural diversity and also the geographical diversity that you can find in this country. And it's also a country that you can uh, travel around really, really easily to experience that cultural and regional diversity that I just mentioned. The roads are great, the train system is great. You can get it from A to B really, really quickly and really, really easily. Uh, north to south, east to west, there's no problems. And the roads are free, which is also an advantage uh, of a lot of this country. You do have to pay for roads in the Basque country, you have to pay for roads in Catalonia, but in this part of the world, you don't really have to pay for roads. And uh, the train system, as I said, the fast train system is an absolute pro of the country. And that geographical 
uh, variety that you get. You've got uh, mountains with snow, you've got great beaches, you've got everything that you can need and uh, want to do from that point of view. And that is a definite pro that this country has. Okay, so there we go. Those are my pros and cons about moving to this country to live. Uh, I'd say in general that the pros outweigh the cons. Spain is a fantastic country that offers a good quality of life, fantastic food, people are friendly, uh, good weather. What more can you ask for? So in general, as I said, pros outweigh the cons. Questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll see you in the next video. Hasta luego.